In this video, we are going to make a new maze generation that's a little bit better and more interesting. So let's close our existing files and we're going to open maze gen. And then we are also going to create a new file. And we'll call it node tracker. We need a CPP and a header for it. And that's going to track our visited nodes. And so in node tracker, we're going to, I'm going to be using newer C++ in this video. So we're going to do pound include vector and pound include random. And we are going to do class node tracker. This doesn't need to be in Godot. And private variables, std vector of std vector of pool. And we're going to call it visited. And then std mt19937, which is our random number generator, call it rng. And then public, we need our constructor. We'll take in an int w, int h, and a uint32t seed that will default to zero. And we'll have a destructor. And we will have a bool is visible or visited function and it'll take in an x and a y and then we'll do a void set visited x y and then we want an unsigned char get unvisited neighbors and that's going to take in an x and a y also <laughs> then we want void initialize random 32 and that's we're going to just copy paste that from our existing maze gen but it's going to get moved into here where the actual random is going to be done so then for maze gen let's steal our initialize random 32 function and paste it over into node tracker let's pound include node tracker.h first and then let's just paste it in so we're, we just need to change this to node tracker instead of maze gen, and that's all. Then we also want a node tracker constructor, and we're gonna take in int w int h and uint 32t seed, and we're gonna initialize random 32 from this with seed, and then we are going to do visited.resize, and set it to w plus 4 comma std vector bool of type bool h plus 4 comma false so this is going to initialize the whole thing to false and we're padding by 2 in each direction that's why we have the plus 4. this is because we step by 2 instead of by 1 so we want to pad the extra now we want to actually put our padding in. So for int x equals 0, x is less than w plus 4, x plus plus, we are going to do visited sub x sub 0 equals visited sub x sub 1 equals true. And then we're going to do visited x sub h plus 3, visited x sub h plus 2 equals true. And that's just putting true on the outside of our, our visited array. And then we want a for int y equals 0 to h plus 4. And we're going to do pretty much the same thing as the x for loop. So visited sub 0 sub y equals visited sub 1 sub y equals true. And then visited sub w plus 3 sub y equals visited sub w plus 2 sub y equals true. So now we have padding on the top, bottom, left, and right. Now let's do our node tracker, node tracker destructor, and we'll leave that empty for the moment. And let's do bool node tracker is visited, and we'll do int x and y passed in, and return visited sub x sub y. So sorry, x plus 2 sub y plus 2, because we are doing the padding of 2. And 
And then we want void node tracker set visited. And that'll take in an X and a Y again. And we are going to set visited sub X plus two sub Y plus two equal true. And the two is for padding again. Then we want an unsigned char node tracker get unvisited neighbor, which also takes in int x, comma, and y. And we're going to do bool neighbor sub four, because we have four different directions. And then unsigned int unvisited. And we're going to start that at zero. And we're just going to count how many unvisited we have with that. So neighbor sub zero equals is visited x minus two, comma, y. And then neighbor sub one equals is visited x comma y minus two. And that's going to be the upper neighbor. And then neighbor sub two equals is visited x plus two comma y, which will be the right neighbor. And then neighbor sub three equals is visited x comma y plus two which will be the last neighbor, the downstairs neighbor. And then for int x equals zero to four, we're going to walk through the neighbors. If neighbor sub x is equal to false, then unvisited plus plus. So we're just counting how many unvisited we have here. And then outside of the for loop, if unvisited is equal to zero, we don't have any unvisited, then we return zero. And then we want unsigned int random pick equals RNG mod unvisited. And this is going to let us pick which unvisited we want. And then unsigned int i equals zero. Unsigned char direction. And for direction equals zero to four. Zero plus plus. And if neighbor sub dir is equal to false, then it's unvisited. And we want to do if i is equal to the random pick, then we break out of this for loop. Otherwise, i plus plus. Now, outside the for loop, we return one shifted to the left by dir. build correctly and don't have any warnings. So let's go over to mazegen.h. We're gonna change a little bit of stuff, get rid of our existing includes and just pound include vector, and pound include node tracker.h. Then inside of mazegen, we're gonna change the names of these to just width and height, and Let's get rid of the bool star star and let's replace it with a node tracker pointer. And we'll call this p visited. And then we want a std vector of type std vector of type bool. And that's going to be whether or not something's a wall. So we're just going to call it wall. Then we can get rid of initialize random 32 from maze gen because it is inside of node tracker. So let's just delete that. And then let's go to our maze gen .cpp. So in our constructor, we want to be using namespace std before any of our code. And then in our constructor, Let's delete all of it and replace it with p visited equals new node tracker. And we're going to pass in w, h, and seed. And then width is going to be equal to w, height is going to be equal to h. And wall.resize width, comma, vector sub bool, or vector of type bool. And 
and we're going to pass height comma true. So that's going to set all of our walls to true. And then in our destructor, we are going to delete be visited. And then we don't need this initialize random 32 anymore. And our is wall is going to return instead of maze data sub x sub y, it needs to return wall sub x sub y. And then generating our maze is going to be different. So let's get rid of all of that. And let's do vector of type pair int int. And we're going to call this a node stack. And then for int cur x equals zero to width, we're going to just step by two. So cur x plus equals two. And then int cur y equals zero. Cur y is less than height. Cur y plus equals two. And then if p visited dot is visited cur x comma cur y then continue so we're going to skip it if it's already been visited and then p visited set visited cur x comma cur y so now we've been visited and then we want to set our wall also so our wall sub cur x sub cur y is equal to false because we are not a wall if we have visited this node. And then we are at an unvisited node at this point, and we have an empty stack. Now, the algorithm we're going to be using, let's comment it in here. So, First, we are going to pick an unvisited neighbor. And if there is no unvisited neighbor, we're going to just pop the stack into current. And then step two, we're going to add current to the stack. And step three, we are going to remove, I can spell, remove wall between where we are and what we picked. And then four, we're going to make our picked neighbor into the current, and we're going to mark it visited. And then int x equals cur x, int y equals cur y. And while x is not equal to negative one, we want to go through our stuff here. So unsigned char unvisited equals p visited get unvisited neighbor. So pass in x, y. And then if unvisited is equal to zero, then if node stack is empty, so dot size equals zero, then break. Else we want a pair int int, we'll call it p, and we're gonna pop the node stack dot back on there. And then node stack dot pop back to get rid of it because we don't need it anymore. And then x is going to be equal to p dot first, y equal to p dot second, and continue. And then if we're not unvisited equals zero, then in this else we're going to do node stack dot push back pair int int x y. And that's just passing our coordinates onto the stack. And if unvisited is equal to 1, then we are left. And so wall sub x minus 1 sub y equals false. And x minus equals 2. Else, if unvisited is equal to 4, or 2, sorry, then we are up. And so we want wall sub x sub y minus 1 equal false and we want y minus equals 2 else if we are unvisited equals 4 then we want to be right and so 
we are wall sub x plus 1 sub y equals false, and we are x plus equals 2. And then if we're none of those, then else we are down. And it, for that, we want wall sub x sub y plus 1 equals false, and y plus equals 2. And then outside of those, we want p visited, set visited, x comma y, and we want wall sub x sub y to equal false. And we are now generating a maze. And this should be a more interesting looking maze than the other one. So let's go over to Godot and let's change our maze dimensions. We'll change it to 15 by 15, get a little bit of a feel for it. And let's walk through it. And you should hopefully be able to see that it looks a little more interesting than before. And that's it for this video.